Hi there, it's MJ Rooster, and today we're going to be going through some of the funniest Lego Star Wars memes online. So, let's get started. Me when I realised that the Obi-Wan series might be the last time we see Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan. That's very true. He really encapsulates the, um, the persona of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I've heard, I think I've only heard it once, but I've heard there's going to be another series of Obi-Wan. I, I mean, it had a very good ending... So I'm not sure if I hope there is, but maybe we could see more about Luke, because, uh, you know, if it seems like Luke has met Obi-Wan a lot more in the past, so if we move on a few years. And um, I don't think we're going to see him invade a Star Wars story, because that's a totally different time period. don't think they uh, they meet again, Vader and Obi-Wan, after Revenge of the Sith until A New Hope. Right, let's get on with it. So, what next? When you aren't seeing enough Lego Star Wars memes, that was that was me. I was looking for these. It's very difficult to find them online. You know, there's a lot less than you'd think. So uncivilized, yes, very much so, yes. And what next? So let's see. All right, you can read this. I'm not reading this. Yes, though, because um. In the original trilogy, we have, what, Leia, Mon Mothma, I don't think anybody else, you know, except for Jabba's palace has a few um, few different females, but otherwise, no, we see very few, yeah, but they definitely do fix that in the prequels and the sequels, um, and obviously with Jinnah, so being the main character in Rogue One. Alright, what are we seeing next? So, me seeing myself in 24 buying Star Wars Lego. Yeah, that was a very good year. I mean, I was three, so I didn't really buy it, but a very good year. Myself from 2017. Yes, I bought one of each of them sets on screen. Very good sets. I should have bought more of the Imperial ones. And to this day, I haven't actually built that hyperdrive ring. It's like half built under my uh, shelves. And the Dorito-class Starfighter, yes. Yeah, uh, I just built that the other day, actually. It's a very, very good set. Very good set. Just very overpriced at, like, £65, £70, pound or however much it was. What next? And... Where girls cried. Where men cried. Yeah, that that is a very sad scene. Revenge of the Sith is a very sad movie. Where legends cry. Oh, no. Oh, not Qui-Gon Jinn. Poor Qui-Gon Jinn. Such a shame. Yes, definitely. The, the saddest moment in life. 100%. All right, what next? Why does Lego Dooku look exactly like George Lucas? I think our director is a Sith Lord. Yes, definitely, yeah. I, that's actually, this one made me laugh a lot when I saw it. But he does, he looks very similar to him, you know. Behind the scenes, you never know, do you? <laughs> right, let's see. What have we got next? I prefer the real Star Wars. No, the real Star Wars. Wait a minute. Why is Han Solo sort of just staring into my soul? <laughs> perfection, yes, perfection. Uh, we see, we're seeing a lot of Qui-Gon Jinn in that scene, I must say. Perfection, though, that, yeah. Poor Qui-Gon with his, with his crosses for eyes. <laughs> right, what next? Dad doesn't want to buy a dog. Family buys dog anyway. Dad's a dog. That's very true, though. That is very true. They always seem to get, get that special connection, yeah. <laughs> oh, these, some of these are just very, very relatable, I must say. Right, what we see seeing next? Worst ways to die in Star Wars. Getting choked to death, being a youngling during Order 66, being digested by a Sarlacc, whew, getting impaled in the crotch by Lego Darth Maul, Lego Darth Maul in particular, yes, very, very bad way to die. Again, Qui-Gon Jinn, <laughs> God, yeah, we, I'm sure we see that scene a few times in this video, yeah. <laughs> God, All right, what next? Ten-year-old me looking at all the Lego sets I can't afford. Twenty-five-year-old <laughs> me looking at the Lego sets I still can't afford. Yeah, yeah, very, very true indeed. Goodness me, but it's because the they go the the price seems to go up with your age. I'm telling you. <laughs> right, what next? Well, there. Yeah, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Please do if you like this video. Thank you a lot. Very a lot doesn't sound right. Anyway. My brain says, ah, that Millennium Falcon, I've got that one, yeah. Uh, I've not built it, I've built my first bag, not even that. My heart says, oh, yes. My wallet says, <laughs> that's my position with Slave One. <laughs> I, I ended up going with my heart, I got the UCS. Very nice set. <laughs> yeah, definitely, though. <laughs> oh, some of these are so relatable. 
Oof. Right. Three rules. No wishing for death. No falling in love. No bringing back dead people. I wish every Lego 8014 set was destroyed. Oh, how could you do that? There are four rules, yes. 100%. That is a really good set. I haven't got one boxed or unboxed or anything. I haven't got that set. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what 8014 is, it's the Clone Walker Battle Pack. This is it. Lovely set. Lovely set. I, I wish I was there to pick one up. I don't know how old I was. Definitely haven't seen this on shelves, though. All right, what have we got next? <laughs> Yes, this one got me. I remember now. R2, we need to be going up, not down. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was one questionable sand crawler. I mean, on its own, if they hadn't made the 2014 75059, that was a, the 75220 was a very good sand crawler. But compared to the bigger, more mini figures and with that big hook, more detail one, I mean, I can't decide which one's the better um, minifigure selection because while twenty fourteen's got more, I just love that medical droid. But there's so much better with the twenty fourteen one. R two, we need to be going up, not down. Yeah, yeah, very true, very true. And we're moving on to the last one, which I like very much. So let's go, Kit Fisto, mini Kit Fisto, and mini Kit Fisto. <laughs> Very. <laughs> oh goodness me! I wonder if I can make that somehow of Lego. <laughs> Mini Kit Fisto. <laughs> Who ever thought of these is absolute genius. Anyway, I hope you've liked this video. I'll see if I can try and make um get onto a part two at some point. But I really hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you have, please do like and subscribe and hit that uh, notification button. It really helps, and you can see more of the similar content. So. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.